It just is the original Beaconess, as you can see with the three domes. Of course, we had no idea whether it was one massive Beaconess um, or whether it was three individual uh, rooms or like a Stibelach. Only when we physically came back here did we realise what it was. Um, in fact, we had the picture literally from within the Beaconess. This is a Mori who is talking and teaching the students in the uh, some Yemeni kids in the Beaconess. We can see behind the Mori is an arch. We can see there's another arch a few metres away, and we know from the smaller picture that there's actually a window on this side. So only when we physically came back here, if you follow, follow me here, then you'll see the original Beit Knesset itself. This is the dome that we were just previously uh, uh, on top of. We're now under one of the three domes. We've just exposed this dome that couldn't be seen from the outside. And when we came back here, we noticed the original arches. These are the two arches that can be seen in the picture. The Mori would have been standing somewhere where I'm standing now. And he was talking to the Yemeni kids. Of course, I'm standing today in a very small big Neset, nowhere near big enough uh, for the community that we have here. But we have as part of the overall project to maybe go through this wall and make it a slightly larger uh, big Neset for the, for the needs of the community. It's not going to be so straightforward because uh, now I'm putting on my old engineering hat by breaking through here, the dome already comes down onto this wall itself. So to break through, you're already touching the dome, it's not so straightforward, but God willing, that will also happen. 